All right, so I know I said in the past, um, why is there a battery in here? I don't know. Anyways, I said in the past in other declutters that I do not need to go through my eyeshadow palettes because I want everything that I have and I already decluttered what I didn't want, but I'm just coming into the realization and really giving myself a pep talk that I do not need as many as I have because it does not give me room to grow my collection. You know, when there are other eyeshadow palettes that I really, really want, I don't get it because I'm holding on to older eyeshadow palettes. And to be honest, I don't really reach for eyeshadow palettes the way that I used to. No one does really. So there really isn't a point to keep them all. So I am gonna try my very best to really, really, really narrow down my eyeshadow palettes. So here we go. Okay, so. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is from Essence. I thought I would never ever get rid of these. I love these so much, but I really don't reach for it. And it's not as bronzy as you would think for a bronzed eyeshadow palette. I mean, I don't know, maybe, but I don't need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. I'm gonna keep this one. I really do like it. It's a nice everyday palette. I'm gonna pass this one along. It's barely touched. <laughs> it looks brand new almost. And again, I haven't really used it, so. This one is the mauve. This one is just another everyday beautiful palette. So I'm going to keep this one. This one was the first one that I purchased and I absolutely love it. It doesn't look really used. I was very consistent for a while using this palette. So I'm going to keep it. In my e.l.f. bite size, I am going to pass this one along. It's nice, but again, I don't need it. I have other eyeshadow palettes that have these colors. This one is the I Love You Latte. This one is the cream and sugar. I'm gonna pass this one along as well. This one is in the shade pumpkin pie and I really love this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. This one is brand new from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I haven't used it yet and I don't have many palettes from Wet n Wild. This is a nice one to use for fall or even summer, so I'm gonna keep. These are all like singles and I really do like them all and I still do reach for a lot of them. I mean, if I'm gonna reach for an eyeshadow, I do find myself reaching for singles more because it's just one and done and I don't have to think too much about it, so I am gonna keep what I have. All right. So so this is going to be a bit hard but again i know i do not need all of these so whew, wish me luck okay i don't know if item beauty is even a like thing anymore i mean it might be i don't know this is the in my element palette it's a very nice pretty palette i used it a couple of times i really do like it but i don't reach for it like a crazy amount of times and I think someone else will be able to enjoy it more than me it's a palette that I want to keep but again I'm these are all palettes I want to keep I already decluttered the easy palettes these are like the harder palettes that I am still like eh. so the sticker on the mirror is still on which is kind of funny but anyways beautiful eyeshadows I love them but I'm gonna pass it along this is almost turning into like a palette tour as well because you're definitely going to see all my palettes this one is from lunar beauty it's their nude prism palette and i will not be getting rid of this palette it is mine i am keeping it it is mine <laughs> this is an older palette um but i really did not reach for a whole lot this one is from revolution it's the rachel leary ultimate goddess face and eyeshadow palette it has a nice it does have a nice size mirror and then there are some bronzers some blushes some highlighters and then you have some nice eyeshadows as well so I'm sad I never really reached for this palette but I kept it because I was like I'm gonna reach for it but I just don't so I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't reach for it this is my rose quartz palette from Huda Beauty I actually do enjoy this palette. I do need to reach for it more often. I don't give it as much love as it should have, but I'm going to try to use her more this winter. She's not a summer, like fall palette for me, but she is more of a winter spring palette. So, so I am going to try to show this palette some love this winter and spring um, and see if I can cause some dents in here because it's a really nice palette and she wasn't cheap. All right. So this was a Jaclyn Hill Morphe collab. I got this palette because I did declutter her original palette with Morphe and a lot of shades that I liked in that palette. 
I did miss so some of the shades were kind of similar in this palette and it's smaller so I am gonna keep it I do like it especially for fall so I'm not ready to get rid of her yet this is the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette collab I am not ready to get rid of this palette I, this shade here is honestly my favorite shade I don't know if you can tell but it has a good dent um, but yeah, I love this palette so much and I'm gonna keep her. Um, this was a holiday collection palette from Morphe um, So it was a limited edition. The colors in here are stunning. I just love them all so much and I will say that I was very excited when I got this palette, but I just don't reach for it and like a lot of these shades down here that I want to keep is like in the other Morphe palette from Jaclyn Hill. I'm gonna probably pass it on. I don't want to, <laughs> but I know. I know that someone else will be able to get more use out of it and enjoy it, so I'm gonna pass this along. Yeah, pass it along. This is the Dominique True Moment palette, and I honestly thought I was gonna reach for this palette more than what I did. I was very excited for some reason to get this palette. It just looked so beautiful but I really didn't reach for it as much, but I'm not ready to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. So I do want to continue to play with it. There's beautiful blues in here and like fall colors. So I'm going to keep and try to use it more. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't want to get rid of it. Another Morphe palette that I'm going to get rid of this one. It was their Madison beer um, channel surfing artistry palette. It was another collab that they did and I just have these eyeshadows in other palettes. I don't need to keep this palette. It's a nice palette from Morphe and I think it was a nice collab, but we're gonna pass. Okay, now it's getting a bit harder. Okay, so this one is the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette, the original one that he came out with. I love this and I will not get rid of it. I reach for it a lot even though it doesn't look like I do, but I do reach for it. So we're keeping that one. Oh my God. You see, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I forgot about this one. This one is such a nice eyeshadow palette. It's a smaller one from Dominique. And it's just a beautiful, like, everyday eyeshadow palette. But you can also turn it into, like, a night out, a Valentine's. Like, it's so beautiful. So we are keeping. I don't like this glitter shade, though. I feel like it gets everywhere. Maybe if you have a glitter glue and you do your eyes first, you can probably make it work, but it really messed up my makeup the one day, so I try to avoid it, but all the other shades, oh, so good. This is an older palette from um, Dominique Cosmetics. You can see her packaging is different, but this is the Latte 2, and this is what she looks like. I was so excited to finally get my hands on one of Dominique's um, eyeshadow palettes, so when I first got this, I was very excited. It was one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes to own. But now that I have newer ones from her and she does have like other ones that are obviously newer, I think I'm gonna let this one go. It's time, I don't reach for it. And the shades in here are not too like crazy. Like I have them in other palettes. These colors are nice and fun, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna reach for them a whole lot. So, so it's a pass. Keep 100%. This is the ColourPop Nude Mood Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god. I know I probably don't need to keep it, but I'm gonna keep it because it's so beautiful. I bought this 100% gonna keep. This palette was way too expensive to pass on and I bought it full price with my own money. It's a beautiful everyday palette. You have beautiful browns. The formula is amazing. It's a keep. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit longer, see if I reach for it. It's from Milani. It's the Ungilded Most Love Matte. And I don't really have like an all matte palette from the drugstore. So I'm going to keep this one because I do still, of course, film YouTube videos. So I'm going to keep. I thought I was going to enjoy this more than I did. Um, so I'm going to pass this along. It, it's been out for a while, but it is newer. I just purchased this like maybe a couple months ago. So, <sighs> so I'm going to let it go. It's the Good as Gold ColourPop eyeshadow palette. It's really beautiful, but yeah, it's just not, not my cup of tea anymore, but I'm going to pass it along and let someone else enjoy it. This one is from Revolution and it is the Batman collection. It's such a beautiful palette. It has nice mattes in here, some shimmers that I am getting rid of in other palettes. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is the Desert Skies Alta Beauty palette. I really do like this one as well. I love the formula and it's such, I think it was like $20, but for the amount of eyeshadows you get in the formula, 
it's really good so I'm gonna keep this one my keep is still bigger than my getting rid of ah, I don't know what to do okay this one is from the give line from Gwen Stefani and I bought this at TJ Maxx I believe I, be I think I got this at TJ Maxx this eyeshadow palette came broken it was cracked it was just so messy so I did end up just like tapping it out and getting rid of it because it was just making a mess but the other shades are still there they're still okay it's okay I bought it at TJ Maxx because I wanted to give her eyeshadows a try but I did not want to pay full price I also got a little bit of a discount for the broken eyeshadow so I'm gonna pass this along I gave it a try but it's not worth keeping this is such a fun eyeshadow palette and I'm not gonna get rid of it I was thinking about getting rid of it but I want to keep it it's the 9p petal passion eyeshadow palette from Morphe and it's just such a beautiful pink eyeshadow palette if you want to do something girly or just something fun for Valentine's Day. It's so beautiful. So we are going to keep it. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. I love this. I really, really do. I will say that you get hard pan pretty quickly. So I, will, I do have to scrape some of the hard pan off. But I really do like it and I love it. So I'm going to keep it. This one is another quad from Charlotte Tilbury, and I always like say I'm going to declutter it, but I just want to keep it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pass this along. It's just an empty, um, like, make your own type of palette sort of thing, so it does have, like, magnets in it um, to hold the eyeshadow pans, so I don't really use it, nor do I buy single eyeshadows all like that that need something like this, so I'm going to pass it along. All right, so this is the MAC eyeshadow in Burgundy times 9. I think I'm going to finally get rid of it. I really don't reach for it anymore. I kept it because it was my very first high-end eyeshadow palette, and it was my first MAC eyeshadow palette, but maybe MAC changed their game recently, but I know when I got this palette, their eyeshadows are not the best, and I feel we're overpriced. So my best friend did buy me this and I was holding on to it for that reason, but it's kind of just sitting around collecting dust. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I wish I could loved it more, but the formula was just not there. But Natasha Denona. So this is like a mixture of eyeshadows and you get a blush and a highlighter. I'm going to keep it. I reach for it very often. As you can see, this blush is very loved um, and the colors, everything about it. I really do love this glam palette. So it's a keep. This one is from NYX. It's the Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. This is such a beautiful, fun eyeshadow palette. I don't have many fun eyeshadow palettes in my collection, so I am going to keep this one because I love the colors. I love the formula. If I need something fun and affordable, I can reach for this one. Oh my god, look at that orange. Oh, I need to play with this palette more, so we're keeping. This is also a nice everyday palette. I will say I probably don't reach for it as much as I thought I would, but this is the Tartlet Juicy Eyeshadow Palette from Tarte. I am going to keep it just because I'm not really ready to get rid of it and try to reach for it a little bit more often. The colors are really nice. Um, I got it because Jessica Braun was like raving about it, <laughs> but it is a really nice eyeshadow palette. So I do want to get more use out of it before I pass it along. All right. This was the Summer Babe Buxom eyeshadow palette. And I actually got this at a nice discount because I had a lot of Ulta points, so I'm sad that I wasted my Ulta points on this palette, but I'm also happy that I didn't pay full price. I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Um, it just didn't wow me. Like, the eyeshadows were nice. I have a review on this palette. You know, it's okay. It was nice, but out of everything that I'm keeping, I can pass this along. I have two eyeshadow palettes from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This one is her original, and... I haven't gave it much love, but I sure want to, so I think I'm going to keep it. Do I want to keep it? I think I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm going to keep it. I know looking at them, I probably don't need to keep both, but I am for now. <laughs> I'm going to keep this palette. It is newer to me. It's from Tarte. It's their Man Eater and it's literally the best fall palette. I need to use this as well, but it's also a great holiday palette. Like these colors are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep. We all know that this bad boy should be decluttered. She's old, it's from Tati Beauty. She also doesn't sell these palettes anymore. Tati Beauty is no longer, is no longer a thing, but 
I'm not going to get rid of it. I will use her. I, of course, will probably never use her for a YouTube video, but behind the scenes, I am going to keep using her. Who's going to know? All of you guys, because I just blasted myself on the internet. All right. Um, this is a newer eyeshadow palette from ColourPop that I purchased. It's the the Feels eyeshadow palette. It just really looked like a nice fall eyeshadow palette, and I wanted to pick it up. Now that I'm like looking at all my eyeshadow palettes, I don't even know why I wanted to pick it up. I don't know. I think it was just like an impulse decision. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I think someone else will be able to enjoy it more. It's a nice eyeshadow palette. I like it, but I think someone else will be able to enjoy it more. This bad boy is a keep. It's from Glamline. It's their pizza palette. And this is also a more higher end eyeshadow palette if I wanted to do some fun colors. So we are keeping. Again, look at that orange. Oh beautiful so yeah we're keeping last are two natasha denona palettes these are like they're they're not the minis but obviously they're not a full-size palette either it comes with five shades this one i was so excited for when i got this in boxycharm because it was my very first natasha denona eyeshadow palette ever and i was just so happy that they put them in boxycharm so i like obviously was very ecstatic but then I ended up getting this one in BoxyCharm. This one is their Cupid. I think, I don't know if it was a BoxyCharm like limited edition sort of thing. I'm not sure, but I do like this one more. Like if I had to choose. So I'm going to pass this one along. I'm sure someone is going to love having this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I'm going to pass her along. I'm going to keep this one. And that is everything. Okay. I did put these eyeshadow back because I am running out of room. So I'm gonna put back what I am keeping. I need to clean those out, but it's just makeup. I think this looks better. Obviously it's still unrealistic. It's still a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I will never get through completely and might end up in another declutter video. But as for now, I'm even happier with my eyeshadow collection. I can see more what I have and I'm excited for everything that I kept and really do feel like strongly about keeping everything that I kept. So I'm, I'm excited. And I got rid of more than what I thought, so. All right, so this is what I'm getting rid of from my eyeshadow palette collection. I know it's not even half of my collection. I really wish I could be very motivated to get rid of more, but as for right now, this is what it's gonna be. Um, I got rid of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Mm, that's not really an eyeshadow palette, but anyways, 14, 15, 16 palettes from my collection. So it doesn't look like a lot, but there's 16. These are 15 palettes that I saved from other declutters and that I really like wanted to keep for the what if days and moments, but I know that someone else will really enjoy them. There's some that are, of course are not going to get passed on, like for instance, this MAC, it's so old. For the most part, some of them will be able to get passed on and loved on and used. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.